Hi, it's Allison coming to you today with another workout. Um, today you're going to need a step and some hand weights um, for today's workout. If you don't have a step at home, then you can use your curb or maybe you have a step inside your house um, from your front door or um, if you have some sort of platform or a solid box. Um, but you may want something solid so you can step up onto it and not into yourself. So go ahead and get those supplies and then join us for a workout. All right, so we'll start with your box, whatever height you need um, or can manage, but we're just going to get our heart rate going here. So we're going to do step ups and just get a little bit warm. Now this is going to be modified for whatever zone or um, mobility range that you're in. So right now, easy step up, I'm going up with my right, touch with my left, step down with my right, up with right, down with right. Okay, if this is too easy or boring for you, you can add some hand weights. Okay, and just get those arms popping. And again, if that's too easy, you can come up and add a step up. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna stay on that one leg and extend at the top, okay? Then you wanna switch, extend. So I'm stepping up with the left, Step down, step up, step down. Okay, so whatever. Now, if you're super active and you want an even more thing, then we can add some quick touches. Okay. Nice and straightforward touch, or you can add some jump hops as you step up. So choose whatever form of heart rate you want, but we want your heart rate up. Okay, we're not going into a max zone, but just like I'm able to talk, you should be able to talk to whoever's in the room or on Zoom or on FaceTime or Facebook Live, whoever you want to be working out with. Okay, so that's a minute more later. Nice and warm, so we're just going to do some arm swings and get your breath a little bit. And hopefully your heart is able to come down pretty quick. It's not, you know, take some extra time to pause the video. But we want to make sure it comes down, okay? Arm swings. We're going to do some twists. Warm up the back. The hips a little bit. Okay, as I'm doing this, I want to be able to turn and see the back wall, okay? So we're trying to turn as far as we can and maybe get a little bit farther with each turn, right? We want to maximize that range of motion as we're getting going. Okay, then we're just going to get our legs stretched out a little bit. So we're just going to stand and grab. Okay, now this is a balance. So if you need to hold on to something, make sure to do that. But ideally, you're able to balance and maybe only grab here. That's your range of motion, your mobility, but otherwise we want to squeeze in, get a stretch through that backside and balance and that opposite leg that's down. So everything should be nice and straight and long. So here, this is straight and long, okay? Here, straight and long. Next, we're gonna do high pigeon pulls. So you're gonna pull your shin in towards. This gives you a little bit different of an angle of a stretch on those hips in the back. Again, if you need to hold on, hold on. You also can get on top of a box and stretch down. But this is a dynamic warm up, so we don't want to sit in that stretch for too long. Okay, just get into a stretch, maybe on the back of your couch or a chair, a low table or a bench. Okay, get in there. And stretch it out. Awesome. We're going to go into a little bit of a lunge. So you're going to lunge back and then we're going to rotate over that knee this forward. Okay. Again, this is whatever mobility you can do. So if you need to hold on and then open up, that's fine. Okay. So change your knees and open up. If you're just here, a little stagger step, it's fine. <clears throat> okay. Otherwise, step all the way down and rotate and touch your back toe here. Okay, so 
So whatever range of motion you're in, whatever and wherever your balance is, go into there. All right, so now we're gonna do some quad stretch, okay? So you can either grab with your same hand or your opposite hand. Again, it's a balance here. You need to hold on, hold on. Otherwise, see if you can do it without balancing, okay? So this is opposite. If you can, grab the opposite, reach up, and then go up into a calf raise. My balance is a little off today, but it's okay. Do calf raises here, then you will squat into a calf raise. Okay, and then one last balance, but we're gonna hold it. So we're gonna try to get our back sides kind of nice and warmed up today before we get stepping. So you're gonna go into an airplane. The thing with the airplane is you want your hips facing towards the ground, okay? So just like you would in like a hinge or a deadlift, we're gonna be here, but as our back goes forward, one leg is gonna go up, okay? So hips are gonna stay down. We're really gonna feel it in that back hip and hamstring. And then we're gonna be like an airplane or what we call a T-hold. Now again, if you need to hold on, same thing here, but hold on to something low because as you come forward, you want your arm straight out, okay? Hips are staying down, hinging back into that back leg. So show you here, we're hinging back. I'm feeling the tension all through that back side. Knee needs to stay out, okay? So we don't want our knees caving in. Knee stays out and aligned with our toes. And we're here, okay? So now that we understand that, we're gonna get into these. And we're gonna do a 15 second hold on each side. I'm watching my clock. So go ahead and get into that Ooh, position. Nice and relaxed in that upper body, but hold those arms up and keep that hip down. Back leg nice and high and as straight as you can. And then come out of it. We're gonna switch and go to the other leg. I did deadlifts yesterday, so I'm a little tight in the back. This is a little bit more of a challenge for me today. Good, go ahead and rest. So that is our warm up. Okay, now that we're nice and warm, we're gonna get into a, a little bit of a mini circuit, okay? So you're gonna need your hand weight, you're gonna need your box and some good attitude and a good heart rate. Okay, so we're gonna get to our last step up holds. Okay, so the way that it looks is I'm gonna go up with my left, I'm gonna drive through the heel of my left foot and then squeeze my core here. So I'm squeezing my, my butt, my back is strong and my front abdominals are strong. And I'm holding this knee up high before I step back. So I'm gonna hold it there. We're gonna stay on that same leg. And it's gonna be a one or two second hold. So not for too long. But it gets a little bit of core activation here. Now if this is too easy, you can raise your box or you can add a weight on the opposite arm. So we're just gonna do 10 more seconds here on this leg. You can do it for time, 30 seconds each leg, a minute each leg, depending on where you're at, or you can do it for reps. I'd like to do about eight to 10 reps about four times. So today's video, you're gonna just repeat four times. We're just gonna go through it once and then you can replay the video, okay? Switch legs. Again, drive through that heel, squeeze at the top and come down. You want to get your heart rate up a little bit more. You can get your arms a little more involved. And same thing like we did with the holds. That knee should track over the toes. Whoop, squeeze. And then coming down, that knee still should track over the toes. So we don't want it caving in. And we don't want it collapsing or swinging out. We want it nice and stable and we get that stability coming from the strength in our hips. So that's what we're working on here. Good. Go ahead and grab your weight. In between sets of our step-ups, 
we're gonna do some arm presses, okay? So you can grab a dumbbell, you can grab a water bottle, a can, a gallon of water, whatever you have at home, and we're just gonna do some presses up into the air. So as I press, I'm just gonna squeeze the core at the top. I'm not gonna flare or arch my back, but keep it tight and press up, okay? So you can do it with a dumbbell, kettlebell, same thing here. Press up, keep it tight. Okay, we're gonna do eight each side. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Make sure you breathe, breathe out. Good, as we switch, some reminders here. So I'm starting with kind of my thumb and my armpit, maybe a little bit more, not center of the chest, but right what's comfortable in my shoulder. As I press, I'm gonna keep that elbow kind of at a 45 degree angle. We don't wanna get too wide out here and get the weight away from our body, so keep it close. Some of you, it might be easier to press it straight forward. So find that comfortable zone for you in your shoulder range of motion. Okay, the goal is to get that bicep pressed all the way up towards the ear. If you don't have that, you wanna get as high, as close as you can, but we wanna avoid being out here. That's just a lot of weight on the shoulder. So press it straight up, shrug down and back. We don't wanna bring our shoulder up towards our ear. So we use those back muscles. And let's do one more. Ever step down. So this time we're going to start at the top of our box and then we're going to step down. Okay, so as I step down, I'm going to go here so you can see. As I step down, I'm going to go back with my hips just like we did with the airplane and then I'm going to touch with my heel so I can't cheat. So everything should be, all the weight should be in the box, the leg that's on the box. Okay, so I touch down with my heel. Stand back up. We want to stand all the way straight. Squeeze that glute at the top. Okay, hips come forward, but not arching the back. Just nice and tall and long. So touch down, squeeze. Now again, if this is too easy, you raise the height of the box. Okay, if it's too hard, then you can just do some heel slides. We want to make sure that knee is tracking over the foot. Okay, we're not caving in or too far out. Be nice and centered on tripod on our foot. So all the tension should go through our heel and the ball of our foot all at the same time as we drive up and squeeze. Which legs here. Again, hinge back, touch with the heel, squeeze at the top. Eight of these. And make sure to breathe. And one more, good job. These are not easy. Last thing we're gonna do is push up. Do eight push-ups and choose the height that you do it at, okay? So for push-ups, ideally we would get down to the floor, but if a full push-up from the floor is too difficult, then we raise up your hands to the height that you could do it at. So you can start against the wall. You can start, I have a, a raised box here. The main thing is hips stay down. Okay, so we don't want to stick our butt in the air and just come in here. The hips are down and then we bring our sternum in between our hands and press, okay? You can go down to your box if you're able to do that. We're going to do eight to ten of these, okay? If that's too easy, just raise your feet. That's all we have today. So those four exercises, you're gonna do your step ups, your arm presses, your step downs, and then push ups. Try four rounds of those, see how it goes, and let me know if you have any questions or feedback. Thanks for working out with me. Stay healthy, stay safe. We'll see you next time.